You know her as the Pioneer Woman, but Reed Drummond is a lot more complex than you probably first thought. From life on the ranch to her restaurant, there's a lot to learn about the Pioneer Woman. Watch even just one episode of The Pioneer Woman, and you might just assume that Reed Drummond was always interested in cooking and ranch life. But that actually couldn't be further from the truth. On the contrary, Drummond actually explained that her childhood obsession was more on the creative side of things. In an interview with Cowboys and Indians, Drummond explained that she never saw herself being a lifestyle guru as a kid. She said, I wouldn't say the lifestyle space was an obsession of mine growing up. I was a ballet nut, so that was my interest and my discipline. Speaking of obsessed, Mikhail Baryshnikov had my heart for the majority of my youth. Being into ballet and dancing is kind of shocking to see from a woman who seems so at home on a ranch. However, that's just one of the many surprising things Drummond has up her sleeve. Reed Drummond is a celebrity chef with her own cooking show on the Food Network and several other successful business ventures under her Pioneer Woman banner, but she doesn't seem to take herself too seriously. Oh. <laughs> if you don't get a little queso on your chin, you're not doing it right. During an interview with CBS News, Drummond said that she doesn't see herself as a fancy chef, and she likes that. In fact, there's a reason why she doesn't make her recipes too complicated or lavish. She explained, I'm not a trained chef, and so I have a level of accessibility. I'm not going to show viewers anything that is beyond their skill. And also, I use a lot of ingredients that are pretty easy to get. As talented of a chef as Drummond is, she's still super down to earth and doesn't want to make recipes or meals that the average home chef couldn't make themselves. And honestly, that's one of the reasons why people love her so much. Drummond has a lot going on in her life. In addition to her successful career with the Food Network, she is also a wife and mother to four children. So to say she has a lot going on in her life would be an understatement. Still, there's one hobby that the entire Drummond family can agree on and have fun with, and it might not be what you think. Speaking to Parade, the Drummond family revealed they were all into fantasy football. All four kids, Ree and her husband Lad, love to talk about fantasy football and take part in it. Drummond told the publication, If it weren't for fantasy football, I don't know what we talk about. Yes, Drummond grew up being obsessed with ballet, became a famous TV chef, and now loves to get down and dirty with some fantasy football. Oh, how things change. On basically every episode of The Pioneer Woman, Drummond talks about her husband, and she's even usually preparing dinner or some kind of meal for her hardworking cowboy. But you still might not know that the pair have a pretty epic love story, and one that sounds almost like a romance novel. During an interview with CBS News, Drummond explained that it was almost love at first sight when she met her husband for the first time. It truly was, for me, close to a lightning bolt. Truly, he just was different than anyone that I had ever been around before. As if that wasn't sweet enough, her husband also insinuated that she was the one to initiate the physical side of their relationship with a kiss. Ugh, honestly, that truly sounds like a fairy tale. You don't really think of chefs as being picky eaters, especially when there are so many different recipes they have to develop and create. But there's actually one major food aversion that Drummond in particular has, and it might surprise you. In an interview with Food Network, when Drummond was asked what one food she couldn't stand, she didn't have to think too hard. She responded, Anything remotely related to bananas, banana splits, banana cream pie, banana bread, I want nothing to do with them. It's hard to imagine Drummond isn't a fan of bananas, as they are a staple and a solid southern dessert, banana pudding. Honestly, it's pretty shocking that a celebrity chef would be so disgusted by regular fruit. But apparently, Drummond's taste profile isn't what you'd expect. If you've ever cooked a large meal for your family or friends, then you know that cranking up the stereo while cooking can make the whole ordeal a lot more fun. So it might shock you to learn that the pioneer woman doesn't listen to music while she's whipping up something delicious in the kitchen. In an interview with Food Network, Drummond revealed that she likes to watch movies instead, such as The Godfather. Yeah, that just goes to show how talented Drummond is in the kitchen. The fact that she can cook up a delicious, homemade meal while also watching a movie at the same time is impressive. Obviously, Reed Drummond is known for her show on Food Network, but Drummond doesn't just cook for her husband and children and friends and family. On the contrary, she actually opened and owns her own restaurant in the small town of Pahuska, Oklahoma. Dubbed the Mercantile, this business is actually more than just a restaurant. It's a cute store, bakery, and restaurant all in one. For Drummond and her husband, though, opening the Mercantile was a bit of a gamble. Her husband said in an interview with CBS News, I told Reed two weeks before we opened, we might have lost our mind. I don't know if anybody's coming to Pahuska. But the Mercantile has been a huge success, and people travel from all over to experience Drummond's cooking. Any fan of the Pioneer Woman knows that Reed Drummond and her family are all about the country lifestyle. Reed has made it perfectly clear that there's nowhere else she would rather live. No matter how famous she gets, it seems as though Drummond is perfectly happy to live out on the range in Oklahoma. Speaking to Parade, Drummond explained that she really appreciates her life in the country. She said, there are no skyscrapers, there's no traffic, that isn't all life is, hustle bustle. For some people, it would drive them crazy, having the silence and the clear view. But for me, it's what my soul needed. While Drummond acknowledged that life in the country wasn't for everyone, she truly felt at home among the fields, cattle, and of course, her cowboy husband. 
From her accent to her recipes, it seems like Drummond has always been a country girl, but that's not 100% entirely true. In fact, Drummond never considered herself a country girl until she married her cowboy husband. Specifically, in an interview with Design & Living magazine, Drummond explained that she didn't really become a country girl until later in life. When asked if she grew up a city girl or country girl, she said, Yes, city girl. Even when I lived in my town in Oklahoma, I would have called myself a city girl. That's where the nickname Pioneer Woman came from, because when I told my friends that I was marrying a cowboy and moving to the country, they busted a gut laughing. The fact that Drummond's own friends couldn't imagine her living in the country just goes to show how much she's changed over the years. Still, if you ask us, she seems like a natural on the ranch. In addition to being a wife, mother, professional chef, cookbook author, and restaurant owner, Ree Drummond also has an entire ranch to take care of with her family. Obviously, she doesn't do all of the ranch work, but she does pitch in when she can. So to say her plate is full would be an understatement. But Drummond truly knows how to balance it all. She admitted to Design & Living magazine, It's hard. I do the things that I really enjoy. I get a lot done when I love doing it. I just became okay with going to bed at night and not having everything done. Despite all of the success that Reed Drummond has acquired during her career, she doesn't even really think of herself as a celebrity. As she told CBS News, she considers herself less of the famous type than, quote, a mom who cooks for her family. On top of that, Drummond also admitted she didn't like the fact that people say she has an empire. Though she has plenty to be proud of, Drummond is still so humble regarding her massive success. She told CBS News, I just think of the word empire as being in a position where you can just sit and reflect on everything you've done. I just don't have time to do that. I've got too much to do today. Even if Drummond has built what many in the food industry might describe as an empire, she's not about to call it that. As if a hit television show, several cookbooks, a home goods line at Walmart, and more weren't enough, pioneer woman Reed Drummond also became a children's book author. In fact, there are more than a few children's books Drummond has authored. First, she wrote several books based on her dog Charlie. And then in 2017, she started writing another series of children's books based on her life, called Little Re. As Drummond told Design & Living magazine, it's sort of autobiographical. It's about my transition into the country, told through the perspective of a little girl. It's not my story. I didn't move to the country as a little girl, but it's a parallel to my story. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more MASH videos about your favorite TV chefs are coming soon! Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one!